Hello, my name is Jody Reeb, and I want to welcome you to my studio. Um, I've been a full-time artist in Minneapolis for about 25 years, and uh, I started with acrylic paint, and now most recently I'm working with encaustic paint, which is molten beeswax. My paintings are nature-based, and um, I've kind of explored that through sculptures and paintings both, and I would like to give you a tour of my process and my studio. So I graduated from the Minneapolis College of Art and Design as a printmaker, and now I consider myself a printmaker who's also a painter. Um, so I grew to love the surface as a printmaker and multiple originals, so I almost think that this is like an addition of paintings in a way. Um, and I love to push what a painting is and work dimensionally. I love that the circles are both a geometric and an organic shape. And I worked with the circle quite a bit in my work to begin, and so then I thought, wouldn't it be fun to take them off the painting and create a, just the painting as a circle? And the paintings are elevated off the wall with encaustic paint and metallic paints as well. And I love the idea of being able to collaborate with the space and just really play with the color in the space and kind of just all the negative um, areas as well. I started experimenting with aluminum sculptures last year and I wanted to have this idea of painting kind of oscillating between a sculpture. And so I'm working with aluminum sheeting and I'm bending and twisting each form to a backer to create these organic forms, almost like biomorphic forms. And I love this idea of that this is like could be lichen or it could be some kind of really close up of some kind of cellular organism. So one of my favorite subject matters is the landscape and my work kind of oscillates between representational and more abstracted. So the landscape for me is, is my macro idea where my sculptures are more of a micro and the encaustic paint works so well and beautifully to, uh, to heat up and melt. So I'm creating almost this beautiful marshy area and the landscapes are based off of photographs I take while I'm traveling. I've always been interested in photography, but I was trying to figure out how it would work in my paintings. And so two years ago, I received the Minnesota State Arts Board grant, and it was my chance to develop this idea. So I started working with photographs in uh, from the pollinator series, and I took the photos from a, a bee's perspective. And since my paintings are made of beeswax, I wanted to use this opportunity to raise awareness about the challenges that they face. And uh, this painting is created using a vintage Nikon camera. So I'm taking uh, the images on film, and this is a double exposure. So I actually took a, f a picture and then took another picture over in the same frame. And then when I combine it with the beeswax, I'm able to add paint and texture. So this is a series of paintings that I'm putting on to found books. I love to use found books because the titles are showing and then I can do a series. So the word encaustic means to burn in and it's a Greek word. And this is the primary paint. It is consisting of beeswax and damar resin. And so I can add this to my paintings to create beautiful, transparent layers. And so each layer does need to be fused with the heat source, and that allows the layers to build up and to be stronger. What I love about this medium is that there's so many different techniques you can do with dry media, 
um, painting, carving, creating texture, um, adding some translucency and really building up the surface. And my brush has become this very colorful collection. So I'm just gonna show you how I paint. So I'm melting paint right here and then I'm just gonna apply it onto the surface. You can see there's building up some texture. So each layer has to be fused. And that makes the painting stronger and adheres all the layers so that when you're finished, you have one layer of paint. So a question I get asked often is, how did I know I wanted to be an artist or when did I know? And uh, I like to share this story about when I was five years old, I was making drawings on some newsprint paper with crayons. And I got this idea that I wanted to sell those through my neighborhood. So I wrapped them all up, rolled them up and put them in a wagon and went door to door selling them for a dollar. And I sold a few drawings and, <laughs> and one person just donated to me without even buying a painting or a drawing. But at that moment, I knew that I wanted to be an artist and that this was gonna be possible for me to sell my work.